Hello, and here we are again in the garden on a lovely summer's day. Now, I've got loads of work to do today, so what I'm going to do now is just clear this area here. I've got to dig this area over because I need to get the beans and the peas out and I need to get them planted. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. See you in a minute. That's that little plot dug over. I'm just going to rake it off now to get rid of all the loose weeds and get it back to some sort of level again. And then um, I'll start working on building the frames for the beans and the peas. I've built so far. I've only cable tied these on there, it's, quite, it's actually quite stable. And I've run uh, one of them rods, these are like fiberglass rods that I've run through the middle. As you can see there, they're quite stable. And I've just got to try and sort out some sort of trellis or whatever for the top part of this frame, so I'm just going to work on that now. I'm not too sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. So that's what I'm going to try and do now. I see what you mean. Hold that then. What? Well, it says you're having to cut it. Then, right, then it makes it a bit sturdy. Good idea. Good idea. That's common sense, really. Well, it's not common sense because I didn't think of it. Oh, so that means it's not common sense. No, it's not common sense because I didn't think of it. It's another idea. That's all it is. And it's a good idea. So, well done. Good fun, isn't it? Teamwork. So, just get it more clips.
Eh? Try in there. Yeah. Right, there we go. That's my first attempt at a frame. Uh, I think it's okay. It's pretty strong. So I'm going to use that one for the runner beans. And then I'll probably end up building another one next to it. Maybe here. I don't know which way yet. For the, um, for the peas as well, because they really need to go out now. And also what I'm going to do around the, the base, I've got some uh, leftover decking. And I'm just going to build a little box around the base and just fill it up with some compost as well. Or dig it into the earth, I'm not too sure yet. Just to segregate that area from weeds or whatever. So I've got to be careful, as I say, for the dogs as well. So I may have to work out some sort of wire barrier around it for the moment. Because the dogs will go and, well, especially Barney, will go and walk on there. If he happens to get in this area. So, yeah, it's coming in all right. All right, what I've got here is um, fish blood and bone all-purpose plant food so what I'm going to do is treat this area here dig it in so that I've got loads of well nutrients hopefully in the soil there and I'll probably put a bit of compost in there as well just below just so they got a good start off anyway so that's what I'm going to do now What a difference a day makes. Sharon's been uh, just been in here watering. And as you can see now, the, the broccoli to me looks like it's actually four minutes heads now. I'm not too sure, that's not flowering is it, I don't think. I think that's the actual broccoli heads forming there. So I'm very hopeful that we're gonna get broccoli off of these. They're looking very good. And uh, again, look how much the pumpkins have grown in such a short time. And the squashes over there, absolutely fantastic. We're going to have to get these tomatoes planted out as well because they're getting very, very big now. And as you know, these are in the verge of just going in the ground. So I'm just going to treat this soil, as you know. I mean, look at this. All this, this is our first time of growing stuff. And I can't believe it. It's absolutely fantastic. This was just a massive empty space, wasted space before I put this polytunnel up. But having the polytunnel, I mean, in here now, it's absolutely fantastic growing conditions. And not having these top doors on, you're getting an airflow all the way through. So it's absolutely fantastic. And uh, this is my first time of doing anything like this. So, I mean, if I can do it, I'm sure anyone can. Look at the peas now. Look, the peas have really come on. And when you think they were just little dried hard peas, and we've got the right conditions now. The frost, there's no chance of any frost now. So that's probably why the nights are warmer and everything's really coming up lovely now so i'm well impressed with this and we're eating now as i said we're starting to eat our our harvest definitely the lettuce and it tends to grow back so i mean we we've we've already had like a good few days cuttings off of this and as you can see in no time it really comes back to life again so i'm well pleased with it masses of food and all we've got to work on now bearing in mind i mean this is just our first time it's just learning how to stagger throughout the year so that you've got a constant supply of produce throughout the year that's not this exercise that will come in obviously in future years but this is our first growing experience and i'm well happy with it well lucky enough i found two lengths of spare decking which i had laying about i thought i'd used it all so i'm going to actually build the frame around this now so that i can encase it so that's what i'm going to do now What I'll have to do with this, because I've actually built the frame, I can't actually build the box in one complete lot because obviously I've cable tied everything in place now. The uh, the axle, the, the anchors and all that. So what I've got to do is if I build three sides to it and then I'll just slide the whole lot through and then just screw the final bit on. So unfortunately that's what I was going to do. 
I should have built this first, but I didn't know I had this laying about out the front, so that's what I've got to do. There we go, I'm happy with that. All I've got to do now is uh, backfill it with some compost and then I can plant my new um, runner beans in there. And that's phase one of this operation done. I'm pleased with that, it's turned out okay. Well, I'm happy with that. I'll let that settle down for a bit. I'm going to water it first, and then when it gets a bit cooler this evening, I'll plant the runner beans out. Well, there we go. I've put the uh, only four broad bean plants that I've got in the raised bed. I'm hoping they're going to take off, and I'll train them up there if at all necessary. But uh, yeah, that's enough for this issue. We've been out all afternoon, me and Sharon, and we've only just got back in, so... Gary's been working on the uh, Escort, as you've probably seen, on the uh, spraying the panels. We'll have a closer look at them on another day, but uh, until now, I'm just glad to get this raised bed in. I've just watered these in now, so hopefully them beans should start to take off. Anyway, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you again in the next episode. Bye for now.